Meditation is something that's being practiced more and more in this country, and about 10% of people now in the U.S. meditate on a regular basis. We know it makes us feel good, and we know we can do certain things because we have used it to try and lower blood pressure and to relax and maybe to sleep better, to commune with, na with nature, and to be more in the moment with our lives. And there has been some uh, research that's been done with spec scans. When you look at how monks, uh, when they meditate, use their different parts of their brain, it's clearly different. But what we haven't had are studies of the anatomy of what's happening in the brain. And a study was done out of UCLA that was published in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience that shows that there's a correlation between gyrification, which means looking at the size of the folds of the brain in the cortex of the brain on the surface of the brain uh, that occur with, uh, uh, with prolonged meditation. They looked at people, they looked at about 50 people who were meditators for about 20 years and 50 people who weren't, and they saw there were a lot of differences uh, in, in how the brain worked and, and also in the, the size of the gyruses. So now we have some data that shows us that there's anatomical evidence for what meditation does. It's the kind of thing that is uh, becoming so common that we are looking for scientific explanations for it. And even though it's been done probably since uh, humanity has existed, and certainly for thousands of years in the Orient, now we're bringing it to America in a bigger way, and we're wanting to have some science behind it. And this is some science that should give us some confidence that if we stick with it for a long time, there are physical changes and physiological changes as shown by CT scanning and by spec scanning that are very impressive.